to another episode. We are going to be looking at making our sprite dance. The first thing we're going to do is create a different sprite to work with. So we're going to click ballerina and we're hopefully going to make her dance around That is a goal for today's video. So now that we've got our ballerina, we're going to go to costumes in the top left. And once we click on that, we are then going to see down on the left, we've got four different poses that she can do. We could edit these if we want, but we're just going to stick with those four at the moment. Now, what we're going to do is we need to use our control events and sound and look for this. So we're going to start with events. We're going to go to um, when green arrow is clicked, put that into our uh, sandbox so we can code it. Then we're going to go over to looks. And the first thing we can do is switch costume to, and we've got a drop down option here. You see the drop down option, we've got ballerina A, ballerina B, ballerina C, and so on. If we click the green arrow, we can see that she, green flag, sorry, you see that she changes her pose. So that's how we can change quite easily the pose. But it's not really a dance. So you might think, well, we can add in a switch costume here. So we've got two different ones. We've got maybe ballerina B and D. If we press green arrow, you see that we only really see the last costume in the um, command. To change that, we need to add a weight function. So we're going to add our weight block here. And that means now we can be able to see both. We see a ballerina B and then it changed to ballerina C. So we are seeing a bit of a jump, but it's not the best. But if we duplicate it, we can maybe have her do more than um, two pose changes. Maybe she can dance with three or four. And I'm just showing you, we can either use by duplicating or we can go into each um, block palette or, and choose the look and control. So you can see we can change it. We're seeing it very slowly. It's a bit jumpy, but there she is. She is dancing. However, there is a better way of doing it. So we're going to go to um, our control and we're going to use a repeat function. That is a loop, so it will repeat at the moment 10 times. We'll then go back to our looks and we do switch costume to B. After that, well, same thing as we did before. We add our pause and then we're going to add a switch costume again. And obviously a different one than the one before. So this loop will then means that it will repeat this step again and again and have a look. And I press the green flag. She does it repeatedly. So instead of having one big long line of a purple, a look command, then a wait command, and a look, we can now just have a short series. And there you go. She is now dancing. But she's dancing in the middle of nowhere. So I'm going to stop that for a minute. There we go. And I can change the time so I can make it longer. So it could be a shorter change or a longer change, depending how I want her dance to be. Okay, we're going to make it shorter. And then if I change that to, say, four rotations, she's going to do it. There you go, a lot quicker. She is super excited jumping up and down there. I can then want to finish it off because it's a dance routine. She has to have a final pose. And I'm going to use that as ballerina D. And there you go. When she's finished, she's going to end in that pose there. But again, a little bit boring. It's just a blank space. So I go to backdrop. I'm going to pick a backdrop. And I think for this, uh, just for today, we'll use a uh, bedroom. There we go. So now you know how to make any sprites dance. One thing to do is to check to make sure that all sprites have more than one costume. And thanks for watching. Till next time, tell me what would you make with this loop? Bye.